More than 500 students recently attended a career expo sponsored by Daytona State College, aimed at getting students interested in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, also known as STEM. The expo was part of the college's STEM Community Scholars Program, funded by a five-year grant from the National Science Foundation. Lakeisha Holmes is a faculty member at Daytona State College and the principal investigator with the STEM program. This event was designed to bring in vendors that our students could go table by table, visit, they can see their technology, they can see their products, and then bring in speakers that we're hoping that would inspire them to either continue in their STEM studies or to consider uh, going the path of a STEM career, which could be anything in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The speakers included mechanical engineer and bowling ball designer Ron Hicklin and George Hart. Hart combines mathematics and computer science to create a pioneering new form of 3D art. I have an undergraduate degree in mathematics and I have a PhD in electrical engineering and computer science and yet I'm a sculptor in a sense. I, I apply all that kind of knowledge to uh, creating uh, things that I consider beautiful artworks that show people uh, in a physical, tangible way some of the beauty that lies underneath in the field of mathematics. Hart showed the students how mathematics can be used in the design and fabrication of sculpture arts. For his part of the program, he had the students put together two sculptures made of laser-cut wood that have a mathematical story to how they are designed. Mathematics is the science of patterns and structures that appear in all different ways. They appear in numbers, they appear in geometry, they appear in many different fields. Uh, so what the students were doing today by putting together the sculpture, they're solving lots of little puzzles. Where do I put the next piece in? How do I extend the pattern from the other pieces? And that's a very useful skill to work on extending patterns and solving puzzles. Uh, it helps your brain sort of get used to solving these problems that then uh, help you solve all kinds of issues, whether it's in science or engineering or mathematics or, or whatever field you study. Bowling ball designer Ronald Hicklin talked about how childhood aspirations can lead to fun jobs in a STEM career. Today was awesome. Um, it, basically what I was able to do was speak to a bunch of newly fresh uh, high school students. And we talked a lot about um, the story that I took, the road that I was able to take, and how it all ties into STEM, and how basically, you know, you could have a STEM job that's really kind of cool. So my dad is a bowler, um, and I would travel with him to tournaments all across the country, and in doing that, I actually met a bowling ball designer. And in meeting a bowling ball designer, I said, uh, so what do you do, and how do you get to do this, and what kind of money do you make? And, you know, he, he had some really good answers for me, and I thought, hmm, I may want to do this someday. So. Um, I actually followed up with him and stayed in contact with him and asked him a lot of questions and he explained kind of the route you would need to take in order to become a bowling ball designer and uh, ultimately I kind of followed his advice and followed the path and was able to design bowling balls. The STEM Community Scholars Program provides opportunities for students to visit STEM businesses in Central Florida, four-year universities, and to hear speakers like Hart and Hicklin talk about their unique and unconventional careers attained through a background in STEM. We're trying to show them that STEM is not a square box um, and a cubicle and glasses and the pen pocket. You know, STEM is absolutely um, adventurous. It is engagement. It is technology. It is cutting edge research and development of products. I really am thankful and grateful for, for Daytona State College for putting on this event. I mean, you know, it's really cool to be able to see someone take a proactive approach because STEM is where it's going. At the end of the day, this is where it's going. For Volusia Here and Now, I'm Joanne Magley.